Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of that. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing great. My name is Kurt Shellstrom, and with me this morning is Zuri. Good morning. Good morning. Are you, ready, are you ready to do this? I am. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go ahead and connect with all of our partners and friends and just pray with them the power of faith. Amen. Amen. Before we get started this morning, I want to encourage you. As you know, today is a new month and it's a new day. Whatever you have been going through over the last 30 days, today is a new day. As I put out on my social media page, it's time to reset, it's time to renew, and it's time to move forward. And so whatever you're going through today, I wanna to encourage you to reset today. Maybe that's spending more time in the, with the Lord. Maybe that's spending more time in the Word. Maybe that's connecting with your spouse. Maybe that's connecting with friends. Whatever it may be, uh, today's a new day, and I'm excited for what the Lord has in store today. And so we want to encourage you to call 877-281-6297. Uh, behind me, you can see our licensed prayer ministers that are there to take your phone call and to stand in agreement with you in the spirit of faith this morning. And so give us a call. We'd love to connect with you. And those that are watching on Direct TV, channel 314, good morning. All of you that are watching on Roku, YouTube, and all of our Facebook people on the Victory Channel Facebook page, good morning to all of you. And if you're on Facebook, you're welcome to put your prayer requests in there and our team will come in agreement with you as well. Zuri, what do you have here this morning? I have a blessing for everyone who's watching. This is three steps to uh, the good life by Sister, Sister Gloria. It's about living with wholeness and health and you can find it at govictory.com slash morning prayer. So go ahead, go download it and bless them with it, someone with it as well this morning. I want you to go ahead and receive this and everything we, we offer every week. Amen. And also with us this morning is Catherine. Catherine, you're over in the aisle this morning. What do you have for us this morning? Well, good morning, Kurt. You know, just as you were talking about this being a new month, a new day, you know, God makes all things new. I was thinking about 2 Corinthians 5, 17, which says, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. So how do I know if I'm in Christ? If you know Jesus, if you've, accept, if you've accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you, you're, you are in Christ, which means you are a new creation. The old things have passed away is what the word says and all things have become new. So we serve a God who doesn't just repair broken things. He doesn't just uh, leave us with our brokenness, but he actually makes all things new. So if you're believing for uh, newness in your body today and your health, we're going to stand in faith with you. If you're believing for newness in your finances, we're going to stand in faith and believe with you. Maybe you need restoration and renewing of your relationships. We're going to stand in faith and believe with you. And we are excited to see that all is going to do all that God is going to do. So we want you again to call us 877-281-6297. If you can't get through, keep calling back. We want to connect with you. We want to stand in faith and agreement with you this morning. Kurt, back to you. Amen. You know, Catherine, before we got started this morning, you talked about breakthrough yeah. and you, we prayed for all of our team that's behind the cameras and directing our floor directors, everyone. And, uh, you know, we want to encourage you, our partners and friends that are watching right now. Today is your break. Today is your day for breakthrough. And you say, well, Kurt, you know, it's easy for you to say, you don't know what I'm going through. No, I don't, but he does. And, you know, our words create our atmosphere. And so whatever you're going through today, maybe you're, you're struggling with drug addiction. Maybe your, your son, or your daughter has walked away from the Lord. Uh, maybe you, you've lost your job and you've been believing God over the last what 120 plus days for a new job because of all the things that have happened uh, in America. Well, today I'm speaking to you through this camera lens. Today is your day for breakthrough. And Zuri, you have a testimony this morning already. I do. I have one here and actually I came in um, just before the program started. It's from Canyon, Colorado. Um, it's specifically for her family. She said her son Dan was in prison, but he received Jesus into his life. So we thank you Lord for that miracle. He was also tested positive for COVID, but then later he was healed of all the symptoms. And then the second part of that testimony is that her other son, Kenny, um, who had hip pain, hip pain, received full and complete healing. Just as he talked about, you know, calling in and encouraging us, you can be an encouragement for someone else. So we're also, we're, as we're receiving your prayer requests, we also want to hear those testimonies and we want to see how God is continuously working in your life. So we want to go ahead and remind you to call us back. If you can't get through, we do want to hear from you and we do want to be that point of contact. That number again is 877-281-6297. I actually want to go ahead and read a few um, prayer requests that came in. I have Sadie from Wilmington. She's wanting protection for her husband when he goes to work. 
And then I have Elma from Illinois. She's wanting the blessing over her medical test and protection as well. So we thank you, Lord, right now that your word says in um, Psalms 94 that you are the protection, you are the high tower, you are their defense in moments of stress. So we thank you, Lord, for their miracles coming through. I have Jerry from Miami. She's wanting marriage restoration and family restoration. We thank you, Lord, that your word says that because you are love, we're united in love and believing for their better outcome. We have Linda from Lumberton. She's wanting healing. And then we also have Janelle from Gracemont. Uh, she's wanting healing from kidney failure and her organs to have full restoration. So we thank you, Lord, that you're working miracles in her body and that you are bringing it back to life according to line with your word. Amen, Zuri. Carl called in this morning from Newark. God healed his hamstring. Amen. Uh, Mia called in from Midland, Texas. Uh, air condition needs to be restored. You know, for some of you, you know, that might not be a big deal, but you know, it's it was like 108 here in Texas yesterday. And so we believe that your air condition, Mia, is going to be restored today, not tomorrow, today, even this morning. Uh, that's going to happen. Paula from Pennsylvania called in healing for her husband uh, and wisdom for your state governor. And that's, you know, you maybe saw on Sunday, if you were a part of the EMIC services, if you haven't seen it, we want to encourage you to watch David Barton's uh, sessions that he spoke during the Sunday morning session here at church on 9 a.m. or 11. You can go to emic.org forward slash media. And then of course on the KCM Facebook page, David Barton did our staff chapel yesterday. And we want to encourage you to watch that. And just to, just to hear what he has to say about what's happening in America, but also we want to encourage you to pray uh, for our governors, pray for our president and all that's happening. Inela called in, uh, needs favor with her daughter for her job. And so we want to come in agreement with that. And also uh, this morning, you know, I want to start out this morning. The Bible says where two or more are gathered in Jesus name, there he is. And Jesse Duplantis explains how it is our faith united with God's power that brings results in our lives. And so this morning, watch this clip by Jesse and we'll be right back. None of our destiny is firm, ladies and gentlemen. It's according to your faith to make things happen in life. Just because God said something it won't work for you because he said it, you got to say it with him. If two of you agree. Two. How many of you believe in for something? Look at me. I'll be you too. Right. I'll be you too. You ain't got to look for nobody else. I'll be your two. And I've said this so many times. Just think if all the church became twos. Just think if all your churches went around saying, what you believing for? Well, I'm believing that. I'll be you too. Okay. And you get all everybody being twos. You'd be a bunch of two twos, but you are two, buddy. <laughs> now things start happening because destiny is not firm. Write this down. Des your destiny is not firm. Your free will has been given to you to make choices. And destiny happens one day at a time. Glory to God, we will be your two. When you are standing in faith concerning anything to, to see breakthrough happen in your life and you give us a call this morning, we are gonna stand in faith with you. These licensed prayer ministers that you see around me are gonna stand in faith and in agreement with you. Um, and we know the word of God says that when two or more are gathered together, there the I am is in the midst of them. So we're believing that God is ever present in your situation, no matter how dark it might seem. And he is bringing you out in Jesus mighty name. And I actually have a testimony here I want to read to you. This is from Sadie in Wilmington. She called last Friday with a sharp pain in her hip and called us for prayer while she was still in bed. But 20 minutes later, she was able to walk around with no pain. So we're believing for breakthrough today. We're believing for immediately and suddenly uh, to, to happen in your life and for quick manifestations of the power of God. I have a few more here for healing. So if you're watching and you've called in for healing, I want you to take hold of that testimony. Let that encourage your faith. I have Barbara from Birmingham believing for healing for her daughter. Carol from Mont Alto believing for her loved ones who are needing complete healing and favor. We say that's done. Uh, Russell from Winston-Salem is believing for he uh, finances and for healing um, and for the right medication from the doctor. So we say that you have that healing in your body because of the stripes that Jesus bore on his in Jesus name. And then Kurt, I also have a lot of prayer requests here for deliverance, for deliverance and restoration. I want to read through some of these and I want you to know we serve a delivering God. His power is he's mighty to save. He's mighty to deliver. And so even when you feel like you are addicted or you're bound or you have loved ones who are addicted and bound, we want you to know the Lord sees you. He knows you. He cares about every detail of your 
your life and he wants you to be free. It was for freedom that Christ has set us free. So I want to read some of these. This is from Catherine and Sterling believing for her son Steve to be freed from depression and anxiety. So Steve, we say that you have no depression, no anxiety because the Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I have Teresa here believing for healing and deliverance and salvation of a family member. So we say that family member is healed and delivered in Jesus name. Donna from Atoka, Tennessee is believing for restoration of her relationship with her son. You know, he's a restorer of broken relationships. I talked about that off the top this morning. So he's restoring that relationship. Donna, thank you for calling. We're in faith with you. Um, Alma from Texas, believing for her son, John, who's addicted to gaming on the computer and he is neglecting his family and needs deliverance. So Father, right now we lift up Alma's son to you. Father, I thank you, God, that you are delivering him quickly now. Father, that you're revealing to him that there is more to his life. Father, you're giving him zeal. You're giving him passion. Father, you're birthing new dreams in his heart, Father, and restoring those relationships with his family in Jesus' mighty name. And then last one here, I have Mary from Austin, Texas, believing for peace and deliverance for her granddaughter. So Mary, we say that your granddaughter is delivered. She has the peace of God that transcends all understanding to guard her heart and her mind in Christ Jesus. So I want you to take that word, stand in faith, having done all the stands, stand therefore and believe for that breakthrough uh, in your granddaughter's life. And Zuri, we're going to go back to you. Amen. Catherine, well, you know you're right. God's word does not return void. You just stand on the word of God, receive it in faith over your life and continue to stand and believe that every circumstance that you have, he is working breakthroughs. He's working miracles in your life. I have Sylvester here from Snow Hill. Um, he's also wanting healing in his relationships. I have Benjamin from Staten Island, also wanting restoration restored with his loved ones. So just like Catherine had prayed, we pray over your life and we're standing on First John where it talks about if you love God, you love one another as well. So we thank you, Lord, for that healing that's going on in their life. I have Sherry from Texas. Uh, she's wanting healing of her son's eyes. I have Shirley from Columbia, healing for eyesight. This is an year of 2020 vision and we're declaring that upon your life. Brother Copeland already declared that upon you. So we're believing for that manifested power and change upon you. I have Kathy from Emory. She's wanting healing for her son who has ADHD. So we thank you Lord right now for his life. We thank you Father God for the provision and health that you're bringing to him and the prosperity that you're bringing upon his body. We have Jertu from Milwaukee. Um, he's wanting favor, or she's wanting favor with the IRS. So we thank you Lord and we're standing on your favor upon her life, that your mercy and grace is never ending and that she has it every day more and more. And then lastly here, I have John from Austin, Texas. Uh, he's praying for his mother who's having digestive issues, breathing issues and overall health. So we thank you Lord for her life and we thank you Father God for the miracles. And we're standing on Isaiah 53, for your wounds we have been healed. And we thank you that today you're working those incredible miracles. Amen, thank you Zuri. And you know, I had the scripture here, Isaiah, we've heard it so many times, Isaiah 40, 31, and they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. You know, many of you maybe that we're watching right now, you're weary, you're run down, and you're saying, Kurt, man, I just need, I just need some hope. Well, it says in the word, I just read it, where if you rest, if you rest in him and don't take that burden upon yourself, but give it all to him, he will take care of it. And we want to encourage you again, uh, 877-281. I say it every time I'm on the, on, this, on the program here, put this phone number in your phone, put it on speed dial because we're here to come in agreement with you. Why would you want to do life by yourself? And so many believers, they do because they don't want to share what's going on in their life and all the things, troubles and what people make think we're, we're not going to do any of that we're going to come in agreement as the scriptures say in agreement with you in the spirit of faith for your situation so again we want to encourage you to call you see the number on the screen 877-281-6297 and let us it's our honor it's our privilege to come in agreement with you not just this morning during this program but we're here all throughout the day so whatever you may be going through if you're going through a tough time we want to encourage you to call us and the people uh zuri right now on facebook are lighting it up people are calling you know, putting in here from all over the world uh, where they're uh, watching the program from. All of you on DirecTV, Dish, Roku, YouTube, welcome this morning to Morning Prayer. Zuri? Okay, so here in my hand I have Gerald from Shrevenport and I actually want you to unite your faith with me. Um, he's believing for his son who got shot three times and he is wanting healing. And so right now I just want to go ahead and pray over his yes. life and declare protection over him. So we thank you Lord right now for the life of Gerald's son. Yes. Believing for your faith, Father God, and your protection. Yes. Psalms 91, we're pr praying and pleading the blood of the lamb over his life. That his organs are saved, that his body yes. is restored and that when the doctors are, are working over him, Father God, that only your good work is going through, Father. And you're giving them that perfect peace knowing, Father God, that you're working continuously 
continuously in his life. Amen. I have Glenda from Liberty. Uh, she's wanting healing. Um, I also have her wanting complete healing and no surgery. I have Mildred from Illinois wanting healing. I have Viola from Johnson City believing for complete healing of a sister. I have Martha from Plant City wanting kidney healing and heart healing. I have Julia from Pennsylvania wanting healing for her, for her son, John. And then I have Mary from Douglasville also wanting healing. I have several here in my hands for healing. I just wanna go ahead and remind you the word of God is present to heal. Any, any circumstance you have, any healing, no matter how small or how big it is that you need, the Lord is present to help you. He is the Christ, the Redeemer. So we're just standing in the word of God today and declaring life upon your life. And in Jeremiah 30, 17, it says, I will restore you to good health. Any situation, any health situation that you have, the Lord will restore and bring forth speedily this morning. Amen. How great is that? Amen. Well, also this morning just came in Linda in Fort Worth. Uh, I'm going to stop and pause right now. Uh, whew, um, I'm six, five and you know, I get emotional when I read these because, um, you know, Linda just called in, uh, praying for Mark uh, last night was shot in the eye and uh, he needs his sight restored. And so right now in Jesus name, Mark, we speak healing to your eye right now. Every nerve, every cell, every joint, every, every particle of that eye be restored right now. Whatever hospital you are in, in Fort Worth, we, we speak the peace of God over that room. We speak the peace of God over those doctors that direct the hands of the doctors as they do the surgery over Mark's eye in Jesus name. Father, we speak healing to Mark right now in Jesus name. Amen. Bobby called in from Parkersburg. Uh, daughter needs peace right now. Lavina called from Ohio, has a terrible hip thing going on, needs healing. We speak to that hip right now, Lavina, that it's healed in Jesus' name. And right now, Lavina, you're watching. I want you to put your hand on your hip. You know, it's, put your hand. It doesn't mean that I have to come and lay hands on you. It says, lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. So that's you, Lavina, right now. Put your hand right there on your hip and you speak to that hip. Again, I said earlier that our words matter. And so I want you to speak out that you are healed right now in Jesus name. Pamela called in from Kingston. Uh, sister has a lung scan today and that they have a good report. And we speak a good report right now to your sister, Pamela, and uh, that all the procedures, all the things, the doctor visit, it's gonna be peaceful and there'll be no uh, situation whatsoever. Over you in the aisle there, Catherine. Yes, so I actually have a testimony here. This is from Cinda in Des Moines. She said that she was feeling really down um, and after prayer, she felt led to read the Faith to Faith devotion for today and it uplifted her and blessed her greatly. So Cinda, thank you so much for calling. And if you're watching, you know, Brother and Sister Copeland have written this amazing devotional. It's a daily devotional. Um, it's not super long each day, but it's just daily encouragement, daily reminders of the truths of God's word. And you can, you can get that online at KCM or uh, if you you download the KCM app, it's actually right there on your phone for you to read it uh, on the go wherever you're at. So I want to encourage you, let that be a resource to you as well. You know, we want you to be equipped on and off this program um, to have, be encouraged and have your faith built up. So Cinda, thank you for calling. She's also believing for divine health. So Cinda, we say that you are healed by the stripes of Jesus. I have Kay here in Tulsa believing uh, for his grandson who's in jail. He says he was wrongly accused. Well, let me tell you, we serve a God of justice. Just Justice is God's idea. So we're believing that the exact right things work out according to God's will and God's way of justice for your grandson in Jesus' mighty name. Linda from Somerville is believing for healing for her family and favor for her business. So we say that you have that healing. You know, Brother Copeland has been talking a lot lately about the covenant, the covenant that we have in God. And if you open your Bible and you read Deuteronomy 28, you can see all of those um, blessings, all those promises for us when we are in covenant relationships relationship with Jesus and healing and favor and business is one of those things, Linda. So we say that you have that favor in Jesus name. Julia from Phoenix is believing for protection for her granddaughter. So Father Lord, right now we lift up Julia's granddaughter to you. Father, we thank you for Psalm 91 protection, Father, that you surround us. Father, that you send your angels concerning us to guard us in all of our ways. So we commission angels right now, Julia, to watch over and protect your granddaughter in Jesus' mighty name. Beverly in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, her husband has a military injury, so she's believing healing for that. Um, and then she has a veterans admin exam tomorrow to reinstate what the devil uh, has stolen uh, to increase in benefits and for restoration. So Beverly, we say that you have all of those 
those things. That the Lord, you know, the word of God says the Lord takes what the enemy intended for evil and he uses it for good. Romans 8 says that he works all things together for the good of those who love him. So Beverly, we're believing for all of those things to work out in your favor, for healing, for favor in Jesus' mighty name. Patricia from Spring, Texas is believing for the blessing to renew and restore everything in her life. Well, that was the word I had up in my spirit this morning was that we had a God who renews and restores all things. So we're believing that over your life. And just a couple more here, Kurt, before I throw it back to you. Stephanie from Texan uh, has a wound on her foot that she needs healed up. Um, and she also had a migraine and prayed with KCM for that migraine to leave. And 20 minutes later, it was gone. So Stephanie, you've already seen the healing power of God at work. So just believe that if he did it for your headache, he'll do it for your foot. Um, and then Daryl here from Indianapolis, Indiana, believing for healing for his nephew, salvation for his family, and wisdom for a move. Well, the word of God says that Jesus has made unto us himself wisdom. God is wisdom. It's not just something that he has or something that he gives us, but it's who he is. And because you have the Holy Spirit alive on the inside of you, you have the very mind of Christ. You have the very wisdom of God. So we're believing right now, Daryl, that you know exactly what to do, that your nephew is healed and that your family is saved in Jesus mighty name. And he's going to use you to do it. So uh, we're believing with you and standing with you in faith, Daryl and Kurt, we're going to go back to you. Catherine, that's so powerful. You know, I'm looking on Facebook here, all the people that are, are putting their prayer requests uh, in the comments here, but also people that are, are watching on Facebook. Um, Largos is watching, Kersey is watching, Sandy, good morning, Linda, uh, Sintra from Trinidad, uh, just uh, asking for prayer for uh, her brother who uh, has, is dealing with alcohol uh, and praying for healing because he's a diabetic. Uh, all these people are putting their prayer requests in there, but I've seen other people coming in agreement with with them and it's so powerful. So all of you that are on the Victory Channel Facebook page, thank you so much as you know, Pastor Terry says that when it's something powerful when people that know how to use their faith come together to pray. And I want you to watch this quick video by Pastor Terry this morning. Every believer is a person of faith, but that's not what he said. It's people who know how to use their faith. It's, there's something about it. And when the Lord said that to me, he didn't say it to me just as though that's a fact, though it is. He was saying it to me as though it was, he was saying it to me like this, Terry, there's something about it to me. There's something about it for me. When people who know how to use their faith come together with the intent and the purpose to pray. This, your presence in here today means something to the Lord. Why? Because when you pray by faith, things change, things happen. And how did they happen? The way we want them to? No, the way He wants them to. Praise the Lord. God is always in control. And just like Pastor Terry said, those who unite their faith, praying together is what brings power. So we thank you, Father God, for that. I have Molly here from Franklin. I believe this is a testimony that I'm reading right now. She said she called in last week for her granddaughter um, who had water in her brain. And then now they called in saying that there's nothing wrong with her and she is nine months old, but she wants that continuous protection. So right now, Father God, we lift up her granddaughter and we're believing in your word, Father, where it says that children are your heritage and that your protection, Father God, goes before them and continues to bring life and purpose into her young life. I have Betty from Camden. Uh, she's wanting healing in her finances and home and a good report from the doctor. So we thank you Lord, that your word says in Psalms 138.8, you will perfect that which concerns us. So we thank you Lord, right now that you're going before her, guiding her father and bringing her that peace. I have Laura from White Oak. She's wanting favor with her property owner. I have Dottie from Fort Worth wanting favor in a friend's court case. And then I have Wanda from Williamsburg wanting favor to have her Toyota. So we thank you Lord right now that your favor surrounds them as with a shield and that your grace and mercy, Father God, has no ends and that you will continue to provide for them because you're the God of prosperity. We have Marisol who also wanting finances and then Chris from Beaumont wanting peace. So we thank you Lord that your favor goes upon them, Father God, that your finances grows every day more and more. And just as Catherine had mentioned earlier, Deuteronomy 28, your Father, Father God, your word says blessings coming in and blessings coming out and we declare that over their life as long as well as that peace, never ending peace over Chris's life in Jesus name. Amen. You know, Zuri, I had a scripture written down earlier this morning, Psalms 71, five, for you are my only hope, Lord. Amen. You know, whatever you're going through right now, he is your only hope. Uh, it's not your friend. It's not your spouse. It's not your job. 
but he, the Lord, is your only hope. And uh, Linda called in just a few moments ago from Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, pray for a police officer who was shot in the chest last night and is in critical condition. So right now, in Jesus' name, we speak to that police officer's room and we speak healing, we speak restoration, and we speak peace in the midst of the storm. Lisa from Douglasville called in, uh, asked for prayer for her daughter. Uh, for whatever that situation may be, Lisa, he knows. Uh, what your daughter is going through right now. And we just want to encourage you as the, I believe you're the mom, just encourage you to be that strength and be that hope uh, for your daughter during this time. Lisa called in from Tennessee, uh, just uh, asking for peace for school. Uh, things are going on in school right now. You've probably watched the news and all that's happening with COVID uh, in the schools and schools shutting down, schools opening up back and forth. And so we just speak peace to that right now. Catherine, we just have a few minutes left and I know you have some prayer requests over there in the aisle. I do. I do. This is from Shanika in Brooklyn, uh, praying against anxiety and fear. So we curse that anxiety and fear. There's no place for it in your life. You know, Jesus even says, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. So Shanika, we believe you're delivered from that in Jesus name. Donna from Janesville is believing for the restoration of her son's family. So we speak to every relationship, Donna, of your son's family. We say that it's restored, that it's made right, that peace reigns in that house in Jesus mighty name. Deborah is believing for wisdom for a home. You will know exactly what home to have and the exact location, the exact price to pay for it. We're believing that the Lord's going to work out every detail for you, Deborah, in Jesus mighty name. And then this one is from Anonymous in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, their daughter needs spiritual warfare to get her life in order. Well, I have good news for you. We've been given all the weapons of our warfare that we need. We've been given uh, the Ephesians 6 weapons, right? And so we're believing that your daughter has everything she needs to fight that battle. And let me remind you, the enemy is already been defeated. He's under your feet. He's under your daughter's feet and she's going to have her life in order because Jesus is looking out for her. And then one more here, Marcy from Thompson is believing for her son who's in custody court. So we're again believing that the God of all justice is working out every detail according to his will and his perfect plan for everyone involved in Jesus mighty name. Kurt, back to you. Thank you so much, Catherine. You know, just a little bit ago, we got this praise report. She called morning prayer for her husband on uh, 5 6 2020, this, just a few months ago, was having a stroke and seizure at the same time. He fully recovered and went home walking and talking on 5 18. And that's just 12 days difference. And so, you know, whatever, again, you're going through, we want to encourage you. We're here for you throughout the day to pray with you. Uh, you can call 877-281-6297. And Zuri, you have just a few more here. Yeah, I just had one I wanted to go ahead and read out. I have Francis from Marfa, Texas. She's saying that her uh, her friend was diagnosed with a brain tumor. I want to remind you what the Word of God says in first uh, in Genesis 1, that we were made in His image. So we're declaring that power upon your life and we're cursing that brain tumor and believing that God has dominion over your life and dominion over every single organ that you have. So we thank you Lord upon our life and we thank you Father God for the life he was speaking to every other person as well. Amen. We want to encourage you today uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central, Victory Update. You do not want to miss it today on all of our channels, Michelle Bachman. Also, America Stands this Thursday, September 3rd at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, GoVictory.com. You want to make sure you watch all that's happening here on the Victory Channel. Remember, we love you, God loves you, and Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord.